Oh, oh Bob. Yeah. 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 Right, let's go. Bob, the meeting's all over. You're running a you're running a real risk. <laughs> all right, you're good. You have a quorum. Yay. Should I go home? No, no, please don't. <laughs> please do not go home. Yes. You ready, Tom? Okay. Folks, please stand with us. Okay. Michelle? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Heavenly Father, bless this assemblage. Grant us the wisdom to make our every decision fair-minded and in the best interest for all its residents. And please uh, keep a watchful eye over Michelle Mendocino. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay. First on the uh, first on the agenda is uh, the uh, public hearing. So, uh, I hope please pull a roll for uh, to open the meeting. The meeting for December seventeenth, two thousand thirteen, is now called to order. Collins, Mendocino, Mayoris, here. Villanova, yes, Carbon. Very good. Uh, now, at this time, if there's anybody here from the audience that would like to uh, come forward and make any comment or any observations on the uh, preliminary budget. Okay, very good. Motion to close the public hearing. Do I have a second? Hello. Second. <laughs> oh, please call the roll. Collins, Mendocino, Nyoris, Villanova. Yes. Yes. You got to move fast. All right, very good. Okay, and um, I prepared a resolution to um, to adopt the budget. If that's what you're. Yeah, we're not going to do that now. Okay. Um, uh, is it okay? I was going to go on to uh, executive session. Just let's go first thing. Before the meeting. Why do I have to announce? Okay. Yeah, we'll get it done. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at this time, I'm going to uh, uh, ask for uh, a motion to uh, go into executive session to discuss a personnel uh, history. I'll move. And do I have a second? Very good. And please call the roll vote. Collins, Mendocino, Mayoris, Aye. Villanova, yes. Carbon. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay. I have three dogs. Hi, Supervisor. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, Hope. <laughs> Dr. Hope. Uh, Dr. Hope. <laughs> well, uh, we need to come back into... Yes, uh, you have to vote back into regular session. So uh, can I get a motion to come back into regular session? So moved. In a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, well, listen, uh, tonight's a very special night. And we're going to start with the specialty of the evening uh, right away, I think. I think we don't want to waste any more time. I know we're all anxious to get out and, and, and join our families for the holidays. So uh, what I wanted to do was to, was, is to kick off. Today is the last town meeting for Councilwoman Michelle Mendocino <laughs> after 18 years of service. Can I get a round of applause? I just wanted to personally thank Michelle for all of her efforts. Uh, I've worked with you for six years now. You've been a stalwart contributor to our community. Uh, you've always been a wonderful contributor to, to our board here. I know you have a special interest in Crawford Park. Crawford Park is better for you having served, and the town is far better for having you served. I've always enjoyed working with you. You've been fair-minded. Sometimes we didn't agree, but you always were, were very fair-minded <laughs> and, 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 and had the interest in the town and the community most of So we have a proclamation for you uh -oh. after 18 yeah. years of service. I want to give you that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank a round you. of applause. Mr. Noel, we have uh, another. Oh my God! Uh, <laughs> your daughter may have to help you here. <laughs> we have uh, we have a, a, a oh gift uh, from wow. the town. Oh, thank, you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, thank so, you much. so much. Well, right. again, you know, 18 years. Now this this came in. I, Mr. Noel, to inform me. 
This is from, uh, oh, what's, what does it say? Well, it says from an appreciative citizen. Yeah. An appreciative Thank citizen. you very much. Look at that. You're welcome. <laughs> you're not, yeah, yeah, good thing your daughter came here tonight. Yeah. Wow, that's really nice. Come on up and take a, take a you. picture of your mom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 mm. <laughs> Who's taking a picture? Well, you're down, well, you're down, <laughs> And then finally, <laughs> Deputy Supervisor Villanova insisted, because he's worked with you longer than I have. <laughs> Michelle, obviously this is something just very small and, and uh, It's not my Rolex? Close. <laughs> well, it's close. Yeah, it's you know, Michelle and I spent a, a, a lot of uh, a lot of time together. We, uh, you know, we transitioned from uh, from different boards, and uh, we've we had a really great uh, great opportunity to communicate over the past. Uh, Eight years together. Yes, but, thank you, know, you so much. And I, I thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Why not? We'll have it on camera. I think there's another. There's another proclamation from Nita Lowy Okay. Thank you. I, I just, I really Maybe just want to say. Thank you to everyone. Thank you for all coming and being here. And I really did enjoy. Um, serving serving you and I hope I did it to the best of my ability thank you for everyone who has voted for me over the years thank you especially to my family and my friends my daughter my mom my dad who got me involved in the whole politics uh, the gentleman sitting back there Raymond Gary uh, well, actually, all you know, of let me, you please, uh, let me ask you guys if you want to come up please uh, that's an excellent uh, suggestion uh, let me ask uh, Raymond and, and uh, Mr. Shaku, anybody else wants to come up say a couple words please please <laughs> Just state my name and address. <laughs> I'm Raymond Skolke. I live at 111 Perry Avenue. First of all, I have something from State Senator George Latimer for Michelle. Oh, oh wonderful. I'll just read the last part. It says, Resolved that as a duly elected member of the New York State Senate, I reckon George Latimer recognizes that Michelle Mendocino has been an outstanding councilwoman and citizen who is worthy of the esteem of both the community and the great state of New York. Aw, thank you. Well deserved. All right, and I have a few things, if it's okay. <laughs> First of all, former Supervisor Robert Morbido wished he could be here, but unfortunately he's away on vacation. I myself would like to thank Michelle for her years of service on the town board and for serving in the public. Michelle greatly assisted the town board when I was the confidential secretary. She assisted the town of Wright in receiving grants from former Assemblyman George Latimer for the purchasing of the heart defibrillator for the courts in the town parks. She was also the liaison for, the Wright for both Wright Town Park and Crawford Park. She was the liaison to the assessor's office. She assisted me in many functions. And her assistance with former Supervisor Robert Morbido former NAACP President Thomas Kistner and landscape architect Christopher Cohen and having the African American Cemetery named in the state register as a landmark on August 19th of 2003 and in the national register landmark of August of October 15th of 2003 and last but not least I consider Michelle my friend <laughs> Definitely. And the last thing is Michelle good luck on Thank your you. temporary retirement <laughs> and I'd like to wish a lot of luck to where is he to Tom Nardi he yes. has a lot of sh big, shoes, big to shoes to fill <laughs> thank you thank, thank you, you so much that was very nice anybody else anybody else well I, I have a proclamation from uh, my good friend Nita Lowy and, uh, and and basically she says we're on this day Michelle Mendocino takes leave of right on board having f served faithfully since 1995, whereas Michelle has long served her neighbor starting as a teenage worker for Rytown Recreation, mm -hmm. served on the Ryerbrook Recreation Commission and Ethics Board, and went on to become the first woman board member of the village of Ryerbrook, where she has also served as deputy mayor. Whereas Michelle has in the years since worked through the town's revaluation and with skill and tenacity sought to the many upgrades of Crawford Park. 
Whereas Michelle's reach embraces many w- other wonderful causes, including the Sound Shore Community Fund and the Council of Community Services. And whereas Michelle's worldview is manifest in her thoughtfulness, energy, and dedication to public service. Uh-huh. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Michelle Mendocino be celebrated for her contributions to the well-being of children, women, and men throughout this community and beyond. Thank uh-huh. you. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. if I could say anything without getting choked up so but <laughs> once again thank you everybody it's been really a pleasure to serve and like um, Raymond said I'm always available for whatever you might need um, just gonna relax and travel and enjoy myself and but it was really like I said my family who was really my backbone and they missed me while I was here with you guys and so I have to thank all of them and my mom and all her friends at the seniors, and <laughs> the list could go on and on and on, and I could keep you here forever, but just thank you. You're all so great. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> thank you. Okay, now oh, back to the... Up the kids. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, sure. Let's see. Um, oh, wow. It's nice. It is a watch. Thank yes. you. Oh, it's no, beautiful. No, thank you so much. I love it. Thank you. Oh, that was really nice. <laughs> Yours comes in January, Bishop. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That's funny. Thank you, Michelle. It's your light, honey. Thank you. That was so nice. Very nice. Well, well deserved. After 18 years of fantastic service, it's well deserved. Um, okay, so uh, uh, now we we'll go to the mundane business of, uh, of running the town. Um, mm-hmm. Basically, uh, we haven't approved the minutes, have we? No. 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 Okay, so we're, can I get well, a... We need to adopt the budget first. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, I was going to come back. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Let's do that. Oh, actually, you know, I got the wrong, um, wrong agenda here. No wonder. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, can I get a motion to approve the uh, minutes from the uh, November 12th meeting? So moved. Uh, second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Any other comments from the public? Comments from the public? Okay. Um, now, so let's, uh, any comments and questions from the board on the preliminary budget? I know we've had the public hearing. Any questions, comments from the board on our on our budget? Uh, no, I, one, to, one highlight is that, uh, you know, this year uh, we've uh, uh, reduced the amount of, uh, the amount in the budget uh, raised by taxes by, uh, I think it was 4.5%, is that correct, Dave? 4.6%. Four, four so uh, we're continuing down that path of reducing uh, uh, that tax burden uh, in the town re- for the town residents. Uh, and this, uh, this budget is a good reflection. And uh, this is also a very responsible budget uh, and uh, a good budget for the, uh, the employees of the town of Rye. Great. Uh, can I get a motion to approve uh, the 2014 budget? So moved. Second? Second. Your last budget, Michelle. <laughs> hey, Mr. Nardi, you're going to have big shoes to fill. Very big shoes to fill. Uh, okay, uh, Michelle, uh, Michelle Hope, would you call the roll, please? Surely. Collins, Mendocino. Aye. Nioris. Aye. Villanova. Yes. Carbon. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Uh, Council of Community Services and the Community Voices Heard. Are you guys going to talk about the Poverty Summit? Please come on up. Thanks so much for coming tonight. Thank you. For I know it was short notice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Could you guys just state your name and address it for the record? Yes. Um, good evening, everybody. My name is Brian Diaz. I am uh, the community coordinator for the Council of Community Services and a, a resident of Port Chester. Hi, everyone. My name is Julia Solo, and I'm a Westchester County community organizer with uh, an organization called Community Voices Heard. Thank you. Thank you again for having us here tonight. Um, So I'm going to just start by um, giving some statistics. We live in one of the wealthiest counties in in the United States and in the world. Um, The median income is over $80,000 a year. Um, And so it's, it's easy to kind of turn a blind eye to the fact that there's people living in poverty here. Um, there are pockets of poverty throughout the county, um, and Port Chester is actually one of them. The, the poverty rate 
in Portchester is, is at 15% versus 9% in the county. And just to give you an idea, um, the federal poverty line is 23550 23, for a family of four. So really that 15% rate doesn't fully express the number of people who are struggling to meet their needs. Um, so Community Voices Heard has been working with um, low-income residents and organizations, faith leaders um, throughout the county to start a dialogue about poverty in the wealthiest one of the wealthiest counties because um, it's real, it's, it's here, um, and we have to deal with it. Um, we're working to, to start a dialogue about issues such as housing, education, and jobs. Um, you know, how can we get housing that's more affordable for people, um, jobs that actually pay the bills, um, a public education that really gets somebody off for success in their future. Um, so we've been um, working on a series of poverty summits um, throughout the county in towns that are most impacted by poverty in Westchester County. Um, and during these summits, we again, we talk about these issues such as housing, jobs, um, and education. We talk about these with low-income residents, faith leaders, folks who work with people who, living, who are living in poverty. And then we talk about solutions. How do we reduce poverty? How do we um, eliminate poverty in the county, in the state? Um, and so these, will, these smaller meetings in, in towns are going to lead to a countywide summit where, where low-income residents will come together and actually vote on an agenda for like an anti-poverty agenda um, for how, how we can make change towards reducing poverty at the county and the state level. Um, so we've held these meetings in um, Yonkers and White Plains with success. We've had about 150 people come to these meetings so far. And then the third one will be here in Port Chester. So, um, Brian's so, going to tell you a little bit more. As the uh, community coordinator for the Council of Community Services, um, um, I'm, our goal is to really uh, bring this to light and uh, make this event available to everybody. So we're looking to have allies and individuals that are impacted by poverty within our community. And as you mentioned, uh, the Council of Community Services is really here to promote discussion and make it available to everybody organizations and individuals that have interest um, in these issues that sometimes are ignored a bit. Uh, so on January 24th at 6 p.m. here at St. Peter's Church, we will be having the uh, Poverty Summit. And I would love to see a, a large number, a, a large number of people um, that have a voice in, in, in terms of W how this issue impacts us because the way I look at it, uh, poverty is all around us and it affects our families, friends, uh, businesses, uh, and different organizations within the community. So I think um, it's, it's, it would benefit everybody to really give, a, give an opinion on, on the issue of poverty. So um, we have a few uh, registration forms and, and flyers in the back if you're interested in attending or uh, would just like to learn a little more about what the Poverty Summit is and how we would like to move forward with it. So thank you again very much for having us here tonight. Well, thank you for coming. So that's January 24th uh, at 6 p.m. at St. Peter's Church, which is, what's it's, it's not it's far from here. 19, yeah, it's what's the exact Smith, address? 19 Smith Street. 19 Smith Street. Well, it's right, right here. Caddy right, Court, right next to 10 Pearl Street, right, right next, next to 10 Hotel Hall. Questions, please. Anybody have questions? Yes, how long, how long have you been working on this? Um, this has been going on since August of last year. Okay, so uh, since August of last year, you had one meeting in White Plains and one in Yonkers. Yes. Uh, now, what is your uh, what is your timeline as far as that product that you're looking to have? Sure. Um, so, my I have a six month position. So, um, and I just recently started my position ends April 30th. So, we're trying to have. Um, Meetings in Austining, Port Chester, um, Peekskill, and um, New Rochelle, and Mount Vernon. Um, 
not all by April 30th, but by the summer of um, 2014. So, so our timeline is until the summer of 2014. Um, I'll just be getting things set up um, to go um, go forth after my position ends. So. Okay. So. So ultimately, you you have a um, you, you know what the what the statistic is as far yeah. as the amount of people that are living in Westchester County uh, below the poverty line, right? Yes. Uh, and uh, so you would know whether or not your program is successful. Uh, in um, what date are you looking to move that needle? I think um, we're going to decide that as a community. Um, I I a lot of what we're doing really depends on feedback from residents and like what goals we're setting together. So at that countywide summit, we would really determine the goal for like, this is when we want to see poverty reduced by such and such percent. Okay. Um, so we, I don't have a firm number for you because we're really going to build it um, based on community feedback. So now other than awareness uh, and an endorsement, uh, uh, the town of Rye can help you primarily through uh, m creating awareness uh, for you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. is that the best thing we could do for you now? Yeah, definitely. And just uh, I think one of the greatest things that the town of Rye could do is is being present. I mean, if anybody if anybody here could could is available to attend the the summit, I think that would be great. Just because when when people see allies um, attending these sort of events, it it really shows that the that their voices are being heard, and, and which goes to the, the name of their organization, Community Voices Heard. Um, and I think that's one of the points that, uh, and goals that the, the council has, to, to create this conversation and have the allies present um, for, for people that might think that they, they aren't there. I mean, but um, definitely we w would love to have uh, anybody from the town of Rye to be present. Okay, if you can get that information, the flyers to uh, Mr. Nowotnik, yes. he'll get them to uh, Mr. Thomas, and they'll get up on the website for you. Perfect. And uh, feel free to post anything that you need to downstairs in the uh, first floor. Perfect. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Really oh, okay. Thank you. Anybody other questions for the rest of the board before? No? Well, I just, uh, um, a couple of things. So the, 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 are you guys jointly sponsoring the council and the council committee service and community voices heard? Um. It's, yeah, well, it's community voices heard and there's various organizations that are participating. So we have, uh, we have. Um, some representatives from Carver Center, Council of Community Services, the Latino Network, and uh, a number of individuals that are uh, also participating. But it's mostly uh, the the Council of Community. Uh, and how can we get more information on the event? Is there an agenda somewhere? Um, I we have a flyer. Okay. Uh, is it okay if I pass it out? Yeah, sure, can absolutely. Okay. Yeah, good. Sure. And uh, also, um, aside from the flyer, I think uh, the. The, the various organizations that are participating have um, more information on them. I, the council has uh, more information on it as well. Terrific. And we're right downstairs, uh, so we can Excellent. get anything else. And Mr. No uh, Mr. Uh, um, uh, Villanova has made, I think, a good suggestion about trying to get on the website. The other yeah. thing, just so you're aware, we've talked about this before tonight, but uh, from the town perspective, uh, we're actually, as part of our Model American Community Initiative, uh, doing a study of the food pantries yes. in Port Chester. And we're, we're trying to get a, a, a sense of how many people are actually going hungry in our community mm -hmm. and how we're addressing that need and, 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 and seeing how, what we might be able to do to um, you know, improve the delivery of, 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 of food to those in need. And, um, in fact, uh, we'll have that study ready by the 24th. Perfect. Yeah. And so, uh, if you wanted, uh, you know, or the people doing the hard work on it to, to present, please, uh, please let us know. Yeah. Great. Well, listen. Thank you so much for coming. Please feel free to hand those out, and we'll look forward to the event. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Yeah. January twenty fourth, six p.m. Uh, St. Peter's Church. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, we've got a lot of resolutions. Let's rock it through these, Mr. Uh, Noto, tonight. Let me see. So, a uh, sales surplus property. That's you, correct? That certainly is me. Um, uh, if you, as you recall from my memo, this is a property called known as Shore Drive. It was taken in a 2011 in-rem, excuse me, 2010 in-rem. It was, our, I think, our first batch of in-rems. It is uh, a very small uh, landlocked parcel. And actually, we auctioned it, and the auctioner 
uh, withdrew, and it has uh, sat there for three years. And this gentleman, Richard Cohen, has uh, requested permission to purchase it for four thousand dollars, which I think is more than fair and reasonable. Perfect. Uh, the only amendment here is that, um, and the therefore be it resolved clause. I would like to insert to Richard Cohen or any entity he so designates. He had given me just today the name of a corporation that's his that he was going to put title into. So if you would, uh, if you adopt the resolution, I just ask that it be amended as to any, uh, Richard Cohen or any entity he so designates. Perfect. I, I have one quick, uh, yeah. one quick question on that sale of the property. Uh, that uh, obviously the property uh, obviously then goes on the uh, on the assessment roll. Yep. And uh, then does that that he's a he's an adjacent property owner? No, he's I don't not. think he is. No, no, no. Nah. He's a one up. He's a one up. He's it. Okay. Uh, so the one thing I want to say to the assessor is I would put this property then on your radar and be mindful of the use of the property uh, because the assessment has to has to be uh, spot on with little things like that. Yeah, she'll, she'll get the deed, and then uh, we'll, we're off to the races. But okay. we'll be back on the tax rolls. Right. Okay, terrific. Can I get a motion to approve the sale of the surplus property? As amended. As amended? Mm -hmm. So moved. And a second? Second. Okay. Uh, call, call the roll. Okay. Collins, Mendocino. Aye. Nioris. Aye. Villanova. Yes. Corbin. Yes. Okay, amendment of the contract of sale for 10 Pro Street. Okay, um, this is a... A uh, resolution to permit an assignment of the contract of sale. As you know, that you entered into a contract of sale uh, with uh, Dominic Neri, Peter Shapiro, and Anthony R. Tyrone. Uh, we, as you know, we sent them contracts. We've been back and forth with them. They did execute the contract of sale. They did give us the down payment. They requested permission to uh, sign it from uh, Peter Shapiro, Anthony Tyrone, um, uh, to uh, Dominic Neri. And the terms of the contract would remain the same, so this resolution would authorize you, the supervisor, to sign uh, the assignment and the amendment of the contract. Okay. Any questions? Uh, no, other than uh, I'm glad to see that uh, there's uh, progress here and that the, uh, the terms remain the same, and uh, more so <laughs> that uh, you know, we have a, uh, a, uh, a good neighbor here uh, that will be... Uh, uh, Taking over this property, and uh, and that's important to the uh, to the residents, important to the community, uh, to know who your neighbors are, and I think that's a, a really sound decision on behalf of this board. Wonderful. Can I get a motion to approve the amended? Oh, I just have one oh, sorry, please, in, sir. In terms of the amendment to the contract, yeah. What, what amendment would that be? It's just changing the name of the just fire. Yeah, okay. that's it. No other amendments. So all the terms remain the same. Okay. So moved. Second. Second. Um, Collins, Mendocino. Aye. Myers? Aye. Villanova? Yes. Carbon? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is the gas leak at uh, Crawford Park. It seems pretty straightforward. We put this out for bid? Yes. yes. And so it's 9000 I mean, there's no way of getting around this, right? $9,837? No. Okay. <laughs> this, this, is a, this is, considering what this could have been, yeah. uh, this, is, this, is a, uh, this is de minimis. Right. Any questions from the board on this? We have on the carpet here. Oh, okay. You don't want to, I was wondering what you guys were here for, but I couldn't quite figure it out. Come on up. Then you guys tell us why we're doing this. But okay, great. All right. Sorry. Good evening, board members. On I didn't Tom see Ottoman. any bridge work or anything like that. I was trying to figure out what you guys were doing. Kirby, and uh, we're actually here to address two issues. Okay. One was the painting of the Otter Creek Bridge, but also the gas line at Crawford Park. With me this evening is Ernesto D'Onofrio. He's the project manager. Uh, on the Crawford Park, so I think he's probably better off uh, Great. discussing the gas line, and I'll put him on now. Sure. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we feel that the, uh, the project that has been presented is in uh, the perfect area for the city, uh, for the town, excuse me. Uh, the the $10,000 or $9,800 is a good bid, and we think that we should move forward in, uh, in this project. Perfect. When will we have this complete? We're still working on getting permits from uh, Con Edison. Con Edison has just been uh, giving us a little bit of a uh, hard time. With Is there something that we can do from municipality to expedite that? To be honest with you, I, I think Bishop could better answer that. I think he's been in contact with the, the Con Ed supervisor. 
Yeah, we, uh, we're calling Con Ed about every other day. Um, there is a, a bit of a difficulty in the sense that I don't think they want to move until we have done our piece, completed our piece. Um, because I think that uh, their concern is is they're going to spend this money to dig up uh, a piece of Betsy Brown Road, et cetera, put in uh, extended service, uh, and yet they don't see our side fit. <coughs> uh, that's my opinion. Okay, so quite simply, we, we can, uh, we can uh, quite easily award this contract tomorrow morning. Correct. Uh, we can get that person on the job and start working and get it all the way up to the, t to the point that we need to uh, to connect yeah. that. We could be ready in two weeks, for example. Then, correct. And then we're waiting on, we'll be waiting on Con Edison to move to Betsy Brown. Road. Well, I, th I think uh, you know, we, we should move forward that way. Yeah. And uh, okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Any other questions for Adam or Kirby? No, I'm <laughs> the uh, sorry, sorry guys. The can I uh, can I get a, a motion to approve? So moved. A second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Did you want to talk about the other? Yeah, why don't you talk about, about the other one? Why you guys have okay. to let you go? For yeah, the very good. Uh, the Otter Creek Bridge. We, yep. we got bids in for the painting, and Great. we only got one bid, and uh, it's effectively non-responsive. So, um, what the next steps would be? would really be to get some local contractors to look at painting it. We want to dial back the scope, make it a little less technical. Because what happened is we're getting bridge painting contractors. It's a very special breed. And, you know, they don't want to mobilize for less than $50,000. And we're dealing with a 27-foot bridge. So it's really a very small job. Do so you just want to rebid it? Uh, yeah. Well, we're yeah. going to dial back the scope. We'd right. also suggest that maybe we dial back some of the technical requirements and some of the insurance requirements or you guys other paperwork. Experts. I mean, it sounds like it makes sense. Yeah. So what we were going to suggest is get some local contractors, let's get some prices and, and qualifications pulled together, and then we'll be back to the board and we'll make a recommendation. Terrific. Well, you know, we really like you guys' work. Though. Do you have any, any other questions? Good. And that uh, we, we would be able to uh, have this uh, done, bid complete, and ready to ready to work uh, when the weather breaks. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the game plan. Okay, you know, come April, we're painting. Excellent. Well, listen, thanks so much for coming tonight, John. Okay. Good to see you all. Have a happy holiday. Thank you. Thank you. See you all. Happy holiday. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Thanks. Um, okay, uh, Denise, why don't you talk about both your uh, okay. your systems here? Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm looking for approval for a proposal by Systems Development Group. They had been providing our Image Made Online service, and they now have a very affordable software service whereby we can take tablets out in the field, take pictures from the tablets that will be um, directly downloaded to the parcel. The a pr the assessment data will be linked right in the tablet and uh, we can take notes, you can uh, make a comment, um, you know, check to see if this addition has a permit um, and um, this will enhance what we are already doing, uh, it will be efficient and increase accuracy. And that's and it's very cost effective. Now. So this is new. We haven't done this in the past. No, we uh, we've explored it apparently before, but the costs were too too high. So now they've come down and they're really within reach, and it makes so much sense. We're going to tie in the mapping features, um, do uh, property validation. So it's going to improve our data, correct? Absolutely. Right. And it will keep track of, of the properties we're visiting. So it it's really. Um, so this will be used by our in-house staff. Yes. And it will include the tablets also. This this is just for the software, yeah. the service. So we would have to purchase the tablets separately. But now they're about three hundred dollars a piece. So we we anticipate getting two of those. Great. Any other questions? Uh, I'd like to uh, amend this resolution uh, to uh, fifty. One hundred dollars to include the tablets, rather than have you come back to us for the okay. tablets. That's fine. And can you tell us how what this service will provide for us vis-a-vis? -vis? I know we have like annually or every so often outside um, assessors coming in to evaluate the property. Every six years we have to do that. Well, we have elected not to have Vision do that this year. We're going to take more of that on ourselves. And with these efficiencies, we'll be able to go out in the field, um, 
take more pictures when we do the inspections. We can note everything right there. We'll have the information handy. We can validate tax maps. So um, it'll help us to do a lot more of that ourselves. We, we, this, so, just to, vision is so just to be clear, so uh, we, we've contracted with Vision in the past for two right. functions. One was the annual physical inspection, so much was $67,500. Right. So with Denise coming on board, we made the decision to cease and desist just because we weren't getting the bank for the book we wanted. So in part, I think what I'm hearing, Denise, you say is that this import helps us replace them in, the, in terms of accuracy of information. Data, right, data and we're also analyzing the data to see the pockets of where we need to focus our attention and we'll use these tools to actually do inspections. You know, hopefully people let us in, uh, we can do the inspections, validate the data, and that will satisfy uh, some of that requirement. Okay. Okay. Can I get a motion to approve? So Please moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Right. So that's okay. as amended for the 5100. Yeah, sorry, as amended. And, and, uh, and Denise, I know I said this in the, in the past, but the, this is a this is the, the progressive uh, stance that we expected uh, of this uh, the new generation of, of the uh, assessing department, and uh, and I, I expect I expected nothing less. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, well, it's good. Ready. It's good. She's getting ready for more more upgrade. It's good to take <laughs> advantage of these technical. Look at resolution eight. Yes. It's, it's really good to take advantage of these yeah. technological yeah. advances, especially when they're so inexpensive now. Right. Uh, I could, it will really help us. If you love, if you like what Denise was doing before, you're going to love what she's doing now. Exactly. <laughs> Eighteen thousand dollars. The next proposal <laughs> is for a software service called Income Works, and basically, it's an automated income approach for commercial, industrial, and multifamily um, mass appraisal. It's an additional tool. Uh, the people from Income Works will come into the community, spend about two months. Uh, on the ground, um, talking to brokers, real estate brokers, getting actual rents, in, and so this will augment the income and expense information that we get, which um, that type of appeal generated data tends to be data that will result in the lowest value. So they will come in and um, try to paint a more realistic picture so we can beef up the values that we're trying to defend. Um, and it's a really uh, awesome tool. Um, one of the things I'd like to use it for is that we have the Doral Conference Center coming off of the negotiated pilot next year and um, their current assessment of $29 million and change may or may not reflect market value, but this could be used as a tool because um, Income Works has all sorts of data on hotels and big box stores, and so we can tap into that to help us arrive at an accurate value. Uh, well, I, I actually, uh, Paul, no, uh, town attorney noted myself sat with uh, Denise and talk with the vendor, and um, this is state of the art. So if they can deliver what they say they can deliver, then it will be it'll be it'll be terrific. And they then we have someone providing commercial appraisal services. Well, so there would be a good question. So exactly. So Vision did two things. Right. One was the fiscal inspection. Then they do an annual camera update. Right. So as we get better at this, we're not going to lose Vision on that the first year. But as we take a lot of this in-house, I think we'll feel comfortable to do it next year. Now, this this assumes we're taking this in-house. Did you compare any other vendors besides Income Works that might offer some similar products? There are really not any out there like this. Um, they're pretty unique. They have a patent on this software. Um, the International Association of Assessing Officers, the IAAO, um, actually have them on their vendor list and um, Nassau County and I think Amherst, New York are looking into it. But um, the, other, the other thing that was impressive to me is they come and spend like a month in your community. Actually two. Well, that's, How much is two months? Two, two months, months in your community. So their first year they do this, they lose money. And they're looking to get business yeah. in New York. The, the, 
the resolution is written for the purchase of software. I don't see any purchase it's, of uh, consulting if it's, you with that software. It's software service, so it's okay. an annual fee. But with that annual fee, they'll also su um, provide support and consultation. They're MAIs, and um, so as we're taking cases to court to defend these tax certs, we can get advi advice from them. Now, is that just advice and guidance on, on using the software, or the, will they actually go out and I think you said they will actually go out and collect some of the information. They're collecting that all in the beginning, and then if we need Is that help... For all income-producing properties, just commercial income-producing properties, or a certain percentage? You know? It would be, they'd be collecting commercial in, uh, data on any type of commercial well, property we they're have. They're going to come in and spend... Is, is, well, is I, that, my question is, are they going to do a spot check on that, or are they going to do 100%? Right. Well, right. you have to define what you mean. So, in other words, they're going to come in and talk to every real real estate broker. Get, they're going to come in and try and get a value for the different types of properties for all. throughout throughout the community. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. then we go into the model and tweak condition, right. Right. location, all the variables that are attributable to value. So again, this is kind of replacing vision. Yeah, eventually, it's, yes. It's it's a it's really to supplement it. It's. It, you could look at it as replacing ordering appraisals for some of the tax certs. It'll give right. us Actually, more um, meat and potatoes to defend the certs before we get to that point, right. and maybe we can. Um, well, I think it's all good. I wipe just off sure a, no, a yeah, bunch sure. of small no, mixed-use properties. Well, the, we just need yeah. something the, to. The, nail we got it good down. news today, didn't we? I mean, I think. Look, uh, I was at a lunch on Friday and. I'm thrilled to hear all this. The goal is for uh, our assessment department, number one in New York State, and Denise Knauer has committed to me and the board that she will get us there. Uh, and I think this is a step in the right direction, and, and we want, we're going to want that reputation to reverberate through our, our community so we can, as you're suggesting, Councilman Dior's, anticipate these, these, these challenges. And by the way, I discovered the other day we can dismiss challenges where they haven't given us information we do dismiss them we just at the BAR they reject every single one of them at the, at the assessment review board they well, still have the we had a long the conversation report, no no they they no we well, well I my understanding is that we could you have to them. make a motion and they won't grant the motion sometimes right they'll give them time to provide the information right. but the BAR does submit the, the assessment reviewer does does dismiss those challenges right. without the information right good Excellent. Thank you so much. Any questions? Any further questions? Is this in the budget? Yes. Yes, it is, right? Yep, yep, yep. 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 Architectural. Oh, Billy, you want to present this? This is the architecture. Thank you. Engineering. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Dennis Do you want to? Who's, do you want to do this, or Gary? Who's doing this? This is uh, uh, Gary. Uh, yeah. So quite, Dennis. quite simply, uh, the um, our resolution is for the architect uh, uh, and our move to uh, two 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 Grace Church Street uh, was uh, allotted uh, ten thousand uh, dollars. Since uh, since then, and the discussions with the village of Portchester. And the uh, and the amount of um, upgrades that need to be done to the space to be compliant, uh, the uh, there's going to be additional work that's going to be uh, applied to the move and to the build, uh, and that will uh, be for the compliant, both for the engineer and for the architect, and uh, and that's going to be an additional uh, seventy five hundred dollars. So the resolution here is uh, an increase in those fees, the engineer and architect fees. Uh, from ten thousand to seventeen five. Wonderful. Uh, any questions for Mr. Villanova or Mr. Lonick? Spending a lot of money tonight. Yes, yeah, spending a lot. Of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell me about it. Well, part uh, that's that's a fair statement, Michelle. Uh, but the important the important aspect of this resolution is that uh, the items that are for this bill, and we've discussed this in the past. Uh, for the public is the uh, there's a there's a balance uh, on this move and the balance on the work and so there's a portion of uh, of the cost 
uh, that's going to be, uh, you know, the responsibility of the town of Rye to pay, and there's going to be a, a, a portion of the cost that's going to be a responsibility of the village of Porchester uh, that they would be responsible for uh, in some fashion. And, um, you know, if they're requiring that we have to bring the space up to code uh, so we can uh, have offices there, uh, that's part of their responsibility. We just happen to have the architect on our budget. So is, is Arconics also providing the engineer because it says this yes. is for... correct. Yes, okay. Yep. Okay, can I get a motion to approve the architect and engin engineering contract amendment resolution F? So moved. Can I second? <coughs> second. Okay, we hope that you call the roll. Collins, Mendocino, Nayars, Villanova, Carter. Yes. Yes. Okay, our lease contract. Mr. Noda, I know you've worked tirelessly. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, sir. Been a lot of hours I, in the last week I, or so. Thank you, I haven't, but I do want to. I do want to extend special uh, thanks and credit to uh, Deputy Supervisor Villanova and Bishop uh, Nowatnik, who really um, have done.